video, I am going to cover how to change a page URL, how to change a URL on any of your pages. And we'll go into items as well, say blog posts, portfolio items, products in your store, events, all of that. So we're going to cover that now. The first thing we're going to want to do is go to pages. So just one thing to understand frame of mind, every page on your site, every product, every blog post has a settings panel. And it's usually found with this little settings wheel. There's different ways to find it. I'm going to show you that now, but this little settings wheel is where we want to go. So let's go down here. I'm going to go to our thank you page and I'm just going to click on this settings wheel. This could be any of your pages. Once you click on that, that's how you change the URL slug. So you'll see here, the URL slug is currently thank dash you, which is perfect. If it had like a dash one or a dash five or something like that, and I want to remove it, I could easily do that. A principle here to keep in mind, the way URL slugs work is you can only have one page with a specific URL slug. So you cannot have two separate pages that go to thank dash you, especially if you're creating new content, say you're creating a new thank you page, you may be working on it. And then let's, let me show you what would happen. So if I go here and I do a new blank page and I do thank you, you're going to see that the URL shows up. Thank you dash one. And you might say, oh, I don't want that dash one click save. Well, it'll show you this you can only have one url per your whole site with the specific url slug that url slug is unique and it cannot be duplicated on any other pages now if you want to change it you just go back and forth right so if you want to change the thank you page so i'd go back to the say this is the old thank you page i would just change it and thinking about seo i'd probably disable the page as well and then click save get out of that and then for the new page i would come in here and then fix that to be like that so it says thank you now this is my demo site so it's a hot mess right now all right now let's do it for a blog post. So there is a blog post and then there is the blog itself. So here I have my blog titled as articles. So if I click this gear wheel, so for all the posts, it's going to say articles. And then after that, it'll be forward slash the unique post. So let me show you that now out of that, click on articles. And then once I go in here, let's say I go on to any of these blog posts, I click these three dots and then I click settings. You'll see under options that I could change the post URL. Now let me zoom in here and show you what we're working with. If I get rid of this, this is the URL for this unique post. So here I cannot change articles because it's part of the articles blog structure. I can't change that here, but I can change the URL slug to whatever I'd like it to be for this specific blog post. So digital marketing strategies, perfect. And now I'm going to click save. So let's say you've been blogging for a while. Let's be mindful of one thing. So if I go back up here at the top of the page where it says articles, there's this little gear wheel here. This takes me to the blog settings for the whole blog. Remember the URL slug is articles. So if I change this, or let's just say it was articles one, perhaps, and that's what it was. So if I hit save and then I go into here and I'm trying to edit one of these blog posts and I'm in options and I look at it and I say, oh, I don't like that articles one, or I want to change that. Well, you would go back to the main settings. Just bear in mind that if you have had your website live for a while and all the blog posts are tagged with articles, articles dash one, and you want to change it, well, you will probably want to consult a professional to help you set up 301 redirects. Because if you change this, it'll break the links to all your blog posts. So if you have content on Google or you have people who have shared your content, well, it'll break the links for all of them. So you want to set up 301 redirects to show that the old page, the dash one now links somewhere else. So they could still find the content. But if you just remove it, it'll just break the content. So perhaps you're changing it from article to blog or you're changing it to white papers or you're changing it to something else well it's important to keep in mind that if you make this change it affects all blog posts and that's going to be the same for portfolio for events for products in your store so just keep that in mind all right so now let's talk about events so same thing as blog the structure is very similar so you'll see here events if i click here this is the main url slug for all the events that will show up in here and then from there let's say event two i'll click there hit settings and then from there i could go to options and then change the url slug natively squarespace will give you some funny urls as you can see here so you could change this to whatever you like just like that weekly dinner is set up and then I'll hit save and we're good to go. So that's how you do it for events. Now, if I go back and let's take a look now at portfolio. So for a portfolio, same structure again, 
you could click the settings wheel here. The URL slug is here, so you can make that adjustment. All right, so let's say project one is a recent project you just did. You could click the three settings wheel, and then in here, the URL slug shows up right away. So if I zoom in, you could adjust this to whatever you like, and that is now set up, and you'll click save, and you're good to go. All right, so let's now talk about products. So if I go to this products page here, it's a few things happening to keep in mind. First one is products, second one is categories, and then third will be individual products. So for products, for the whole shop, if I click the settings wheel, it'll allow me to change, if I go to general, it'll allow me to change the URL select for the whole store. Again, this is for every single product, it'll have this part of the URL in there. So if you're selling services, might be good to have services here. If you're selling products, products or shop, shop is more ideal, I think in this case. So let's just change that for now and we'll have shop and then I will hit save and we're good to go there. Now you have these categories here and these categories have their own URL slug. So if I click into say jewelry, so let me show you this. So you'll see here, this has its own URL, right? Shop forward slash jewelry. Awesome. So if I click out of this, if I go to jewelry, you'll see once I click in here, jewelry has its own section. So I'm under categories in jewelry. If I click the settings wheel, I could adjust this. So if this showed up as jewelry one or something like that, I could remove it um, and then fix it and then go from there. And now we could focus on individual products. So I'll actually go back and then I'm gonna go to all from there, you'll see all your products and then you'll just hover over one, click the three dots and then click edit. Now, once you do that, this is a little bit hidden. You'll scroll down until you see this SEO and URL and then you'll click edit. And then from here, again, Squarespace makes up its own little URLs, but you'll change this to whatever you like. So that is set up and then you'll click apply then you'll click save and you'll see that it is now changed. If I click on the product and I go back, you'll see now it says designer cup. Final note in this video, Yo, that's worth mentioning. If you're ever sharing a URL, don't do it while you're in the back end of your site because right now this is not actually the URL for this specific page. Even if you go into full screen mode like this, if you click this little arrow and you can make that adjustment or escape on your keyboard. But once you do that, you do get the proper domain if it's in full screen, but it's still working off the built-in domain. And you don't want to necessarily use that as the domain to share with people. You want to use your domain. You know it's the built-in domain because it says dot squarespace.com you want to use your unique domain so if i change this to unique domain.com forward slash shop all this stuff this is the actual domain i want to share if it's on social or with friends or in marketing or any of that if i want to point people to this product specifically and that is how you change urls for your website Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you got value from this video, I have some resources for you that I bet will be helpful. Check out the link down below where you can access more resources that are free for you, for your website, for your online presence, for your design, all of that. Check out the link below. With that, if you got value from this video, let me know by hitting that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some important information, but it also tells me that you got value from this video. And if you want more content like this, please subscribe. When you subscribe, you'll make sure you get updated every single week. We publish a new video every single Friday. So when you hit that subscribe button, you will be notified. And with that, have a great day wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.